Hey everyone, Arcane here, back with Home C. Left off last episode by basically having now an infinite water source, which is awesome. Uh, we do need to work on our food, so we do have a farm growing here, or being built anyways. Uh, we have another farm down here, which is now maxed out, maxed up on people. Um, we are, it says we're short housing, but this is still empty. So, and this one's still, so there's still room for like 11 people. So I'm, I'm a little confused by that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have room for 70 people. So I'm not sure why it's saying that. Are these like too far or something? Use house in order to recover the housing needs. They will recover. Yeah, so I, I don't understand that. At least not yet. But this one is should not be collecting food anymore. Because there is nothing that it's collecting from. But I'm going to leave it up because it does still seem to collect some type of food. Because it's at 9. And right before I clicked uh, record, it was at four. So it's clearly collecting something. Um, we are researching right now um, the screw, which will get the water from like down here to up here. Which honestly, I don't really think is much of an issue because I've got water sources now up here. Alright, let's get you people up. Excellent. So now, farming should be done. Well, it has to get water there first, I think. Weird. How are we so low on water? Do I need to build another one of these? I may have to. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to. Because, quite frankly, you can never have too much water. Let's see. Okay. Because I think this can only have like three or four. Okay, yeah, so three. Copper, no, same material. Let's go with plastic. Your plastic, okay. I did do that properly, right? Nope, I did not. Because I did not click on it. Except that. that does not need to be so loud either. Not enough incoming connection. Oh! Water. You go to you. Last. Okay. Is that maybe the pro- no, this is going there too. Okay. There we go. It should be set now. So theoretically, water is no longer an issue, I would say. Um, can we send an expedition out again? Research. Um, let's send- uh, oh yeah, I have enough water. Um, let's send six people. And I need- uh oh. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, my water's dropping again. Really? I need... I'm trying to remember the amounts that are needed. I'm gonna just take 200 of that. Okay, so yeah, so that's for one day. 500 for one day. Let's lower back down to four. Two days. Um... <clears throat> I, I am getting over the cold that my kids lovely brought home from school. So my voice may be on and off a little bit, which is unfortunate, but it's what it is, right? Um, I need like 500 for two days. I'm just gonna keep hitting this until I have enough. I have one day worth of material, is that what this is? Yeah, scrap. 
200 scrap per day. Okay, fine. There, 400 for two days. 400 for two days. Stop dropping down! I still don't understand this because I have enough. I have like room for 70 people. So I, I don't understand that. Oh, come on. I see it going up a little bit. Definitely not enough, but something. Is this built yet? It is. Okay, maybe that'll. Maybe this will help solve the problem. I have to. I have to redo it now. Crap. Okay, four people. Okay, so that's two days for four people. For, oh wait, four people. And then I need four hundred for you. Four hundred for you. Um. I, I just want four hundred. Oh, I can click on it. Excellent. Um, yeah. Where am I gonna send them? Um, somewhere. But we've gone through these two, so... I'll take 20 hours, 13 hours. I think I'm... I know you're idle, thank you. So you... can go there. And then I think after, because this will only take 13 hours. So from there they're going to go here and then probably come back. That should use up the... Uh... Why do I have someone who's sick on here? You're unhappy and sick. You're very... Why are you guys even on here then? Oh, I may have messed up. They, that should not even have been an option. But, okay, well, <laughs> too late now. Let's see what happens from there. Okay, so I don't understand why people are... Un okay, so housing is done. I don't understand why people are upset, given the fact that we have food and water. Um, okay, so that... Oh, that completed. So now... Now what can I do? Unknown technology... Cost decrease, so you are now done. I think I have pretty much everything. Occupancy increase. Um, I think medical should be more important. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I can get more people in there if needed. Okay, so let's do this goes here but it okay I have no idea exactly how this is gonna work but <laughs> uh, pumps water higher elevation must take water stores as input so so okay so this for input yeah with water stores I'm gonna put there Plastic, go there. <laughs> oh, these these things. Um, okay, so that'll go from there. Connect with water converter or distribution center. Okay, well, technically speaking, I don't even need that. Oh, bandits are. That's not good. Citizens low, which means that they're happy-ish, but they're they're not happy. I don't know if I... I don't think I really need this. I have zero water in there, right? Where's all the water coming? Water... What? So this water is at zero. Is it all... It's all here. Okay, so this one gets used up really rapidly. Yeah, I really... I don't think I need that. To be honest. Because we've got enough... Could this have another one? It could. Um. So what? Yeah. So this one's got the farm on there. This one's got this farm. Um. 
Can I put you? I can't. That's okay. I just realized I'm gonna need to screw there too. That's fine. I can put one here, right? No. Oh, yep. Okay, because then you, no, you instruct to you. Stop with the copper. And then from here to there. Okay. I think that works. So then that one is covered pretty much completely. Um, I'm going to cancel this one. Yes. Forget that one. Um, can I also go from you to you, or is that too far? Uh, <laughs> okay, I need a little, it's a little bit more. We're gonna get there shortly. Come on, I'm watching up here. Six. Seven, there. Okay, so then that's going to there. Because this is going to produce or give us the most amount of water. So this one is going to the areas that require the most water. And then this one, I could actually... Um, I want to remove that. I don't even know how to remove that. I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, scrap pile is happening there. I still have people that are not, or have had people that are not working, so. I'm gonna remove by one there, add one there. Yeah, I think that uh, that works. These are full, and I think there is space if I need another one. I can't even get it yet. But I think there's space here for if I need another one, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now we're back. Now we're down to eight. That's fine. Food-wise, yeah, food we're doing good. Okay, so everything now we seem to be doing good with. Which I'm really, really glad about. Only 400 left, so this will be finished soon. Well, these guys are 8 hours from where they need to be, so let's speed things up a little bit. Yeah, this food storage has... I think it's too far away. Yeah, because it has to be within. Oh! Two people died from water contamination. Uh, I need to find a way. Which one is it, actually? Is it the wetlands? Converts contaminated water. It is, no, that's salt water. So contaminated water to pour water. Okay, I need, I need more scrap. I feel like I'm going to have to do the wetlands, because I've lost quite a few people. Thanks to that. Left. Dead. Left. Oh. Holy crap! Oh, these are all the departed. <laughs> I was like confused for a minute, like what? So, ten people have left, six people have died. Uh, okay, so there are four hours. So I guess I could probably do another one. Um, okay, sure. Who, where are you? Seven, fifty, no, fifty. Wait, you have, no, you have eight. Okay, so max three, yeah. Because I'm researching, or was researching that. Did that finish? No, it's still going. Okay. I got confused for a moment. Okay, let's speed up again. Three hours till they get there. I don't know what that one times six and the one time, one, or one point six actually. And 1.2x is. I don't know what that means. Yeah, nothing. Only water increases over. So, addition. Okay. Let's 
Spot the refuge down in a valley beside the dried up lake. We descend the trail, skidding on loose dirt. The lodge is built from old stones, but the door is hardwood and bolted from inside. There's also a trap door with a rusted padlock that looks easier to break. Um, trap door also kind of sounds like a trap. Use a substantial amount of scrap to build a ram. We're going to the front door. Use a small amount to fashion a crowbar. Um... Oh, I'm thinking if it's locked from the inside, that might be people on the inside. Uh, so refuge. Located lodge is basic but provides shelter. It was intended back then to be a refuge for travelers and today serves the same purpose for us. Not so much for recreation but for respite. When the world was a populated place, this must have been a peaceful place to come. And now it's just another solitary outpost in the lonely wasteland. Um... Yeah, let's go through. Why not? That'll, that'll take a minute. Not even. Takes us a while to build a ram. Sturdy enough. Oh. Uh, to take on the door. Whether door is tenacious or finally gives, a shower of dust comes down as we step into the building, but we encounter no future. Further problem. Refuge is as basic within as it is without. The floors and walls are bare stone, and there is an old blackened fire pit. Strange symbols are painted on the walls. There is a skeleton lying in a circle on the ground. What happened here is beyond us, but it looks like some sort of ritual. What should we do? Um, look around. Investigate the whole building, including the skeleton. We've got a bad feeling about this. Let's check the rest of the lo You know, i got a bad feeling, but you guys are, like, sick in that already. So let, let's just search it all. We're, we're, we're going all out on this and we're just going to be weird. <laughs> Completely weird. Uh, slowly approach the skeleton. Okay, stop. Slowly approach the skeleton, wary it's some kind of trap. Skeleton is grotesque but harmless. Long dark hair still clings to the skull. A knife and a key lie next to it. An old blood stains the floor. We search the house finding a backpack of climbing equipment the key unlocks a cabinet and inside are several bottles of old liquor so uh okay so we got scrap and is that this one yeah this one so that's the uh, contaminated one now satisfied there's nothing else to find we exit and examine the building from the outside the peaks that surround it would once have been snow-capped, now they are just gray islands on a sandy stone. In a sandy ocean. Wow. We take out time to pack the equipment and set off from the lodge. Okay. I'm not sure where they're going now. Oops. But apparently they're going somewhere. Um. Okay, hang on. Uh, something good that- oh, some food contamination. Oh boy. That, uh, pass that off for the lot. The tools we found will prove useful when exploring rocky regions. Our ancestors were well prepared for these extreme environments. We wonder how they would cope with the new world. We are the new explorers, and like all creatures at the whims of nature, we must adapt to survive. We have discovered the law get your buckets out. Get your buckets out. During rainfall, citizens will gather contaminated water. Every citizen is pulling his weight gathering water during rainfall. Okay. That's, uh... Okay, then. Um, well, head over to here. I mean, it's a waste plant, so that doesn't sound too promising, but... You never know. Alright, so, I mean, it's not added to ours yet, but there's lots of water for you, okay? I have nobody in this strap pile, that's fine. Um, you're good. So I have enough, so I'm good for food, water, and scrap. But I do feel I'm going to have to, so I need 350 for that. I'm definitely going to need that. Without a doubt, I'm going to need that. Alright, well, let's speed things up a little bit more. Dive of water contaminant. Yeah, we, we need this. Okay, wetland. Oh my goodness. Um, Where could I even fit it? Ah, right here. 
seems like a bad place, but this is our main. So, so with you, plastic. Ah, oh, <laughs> I gotta wait again. Only because that's the better one to use. That's why I want to use that one. Come on. Almost there. Thank you. And then you... What do you mean no building? What? Is this one too far away? I'm confused. So here you can create new connect with other buildings. These are the outgoing. Um, that's because this one's full. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna need another one. Seriously? What I could no. Okay, storage and just so I'm gonna need the 300. Okay, well I got a little. I want the dis or the storage. Um, that's because that's oh, okay. So I need no, 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 no. How do I? Oh no. How do I stop it from going here? I wanna. I wanna remove it. How do I remove it? Oh no! It is included in the wetlands here. Oh yeah, because that's going to there. So how do I take this away? Oh no. I don't know how to do this. Um. Left. Okay, Alt L. Oh, that doesn't work either. Show complete summary. Alt L. But it doesn't do that. Um yeah, I don't I don't know how to do that. That's a slight problem. Maybe it'll change because I don't see a circle around here. Resource pile has been yeah, I figured that would happen. Um nothing is within this range anymore. Okay. I got four more people. Oh, let's get one on there. Um, three on there. Okay, so you convert contaminated water. Not enough outgoing. Connect with empty water storage. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to connect with one of these. Uh, oh, this goes can go right there. Perfect. Okay, you will connect to you. Plastic. Oh. <laughs> every time. I do. I keep forgetting literally every single time that this will still require an addition. One day I, I will remember this. And by then I'll have so many supplies it won't even matter. And we're almost there anyway, so it's all good. Why do I keep forgetting that? Thank you. Okay, so... Ooh, they're here. Okay, stories say that old world machines could produce clean drinking water from nothing but dung and urine. Okay, none of us believe such myths, but on even the off chance that might be true, we must try to find such a device. Our citizens language and thirst every day. Before reaching the plan, we come across the remains of a small encampment. It seems as though it had been recently erected, but thoroughly demolished by whatever destroyed it. It doesn't look like there could be many valuables left to salvage, and the sun's heat is again starting to wear us down. Best to move on and get out of the sun sooner rather than, sooner rather than later, or take some time to rehydrate and search the ruin. Um, we're, we're still good with the water we still got 500 so let's do that and then we'll uh eat up a little bit here there we go 
Uh, despite despite the sun's stop it. Despite the sun's heat, we spent some time searching the camp. Unfortunately, we didn't find any food, water, or scrap left in the camp's ruin. Terrible smell permeates the inside of the plant. Yeah, I bet. Great vats of rancid standing water occupy much of the facility. However, one of our party fiddling with a control panel flips a switch that causes some of the machinery to whirl back the light. Um, feeds some of our contaminated water into the input tank. Uh, best not to ri- Let's try it. Because, I mean, if, if we can get something that will purify the water, even better. If not, eh, it was a risk. Without risk, there's no reward, right? Okay. Jeez. Stop it! Pour some of our less appealing water into the input tank and wait some time as the machinery whirs. After a long wait, the machinery begins to sputter, then finally dies. It did manage to purify some of our water into the output tank, though, before giving out. Plus 400 water. We only put 200 in. We searched the entire plant, finally reaching the rooftop. There are numerous panels which seem to have provided the plant with its energy directly from the sun. We spent some time studying the mechanism of the waste treatment machinery and the strange solar panels on the roof. Oh, could this give us two different new things now? Excuse me? Oh no, poking horn at that. Single exhausted wastelander shambles into our camp, his feet bleeding and his clothes torn to rags. He explains that he barely escaped with his life from a raving group of bandits, but that the rest of a small group of survivors were captured. He claims that he knows a way to sneak into the bandits' camp and free them, but that he needs our help to do so. <sighs> you know what? It, everyone's got to work together. It's one of those things. This type of, of survival situation, everybody's got to work together. Or otherwise, that's how you die. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Oh, sweet. So, excuse me. <laughs> so, solar farm, purification center, and then build a purification or upgrade the wetlands into one. Oh, excellent. Okay, so now we're going to have power. Oh. Some buildings require power to function. Power can be produced by solar farms, water mills, and windmills. If the power requested from buildings is more than the available power, yeah, and do the blackout. Okay, then. Can I, can I go back to this? So yeah, so purification uses power for more efficient conversion of contaminated water to pour water, and then produces power cannot function during cloudy weather and rain. Okay. I mean, what else would you expect? So, uh, how are you guys actually doing for food and stuff? Can I see your... You guys are 250, so you're still good for three days water-wise. Two days food. Okay, so you guys actually... No top six hours. Yeah, might as well send them out for a little bit more. Weather observatory. Oh, that seems interesting. I'm going to send them along this way if possible. Okay, so now this is almost done researching, if not already done. Are you already done? Yep, no active research. Excellent. Okay. Um, solar farm needs to get researched first, because the other one now... Uh, I have to research it first, but then I'm going to guess there's going to be like an upgrade button. Yep, right here. But that would need power, which I can't do yet, because I need the solar panel. This is getting exciting. We are way down on water, though. So, you... Oh, I, I lost two people, that's why. That's fine, everything's fine. Let's go down to there. Let's go down to there. We're still in the positive for that, so... Max you out. Why are we still lower? Okay, so you good. I know these take a lot. So everything seems to actually be, at least water wise, seems to be 
good. Except for this. Oops. No. Let's max that one out. Yeah, it does give, it does shrink it out. If it's 180, it'll go to 144. So we do lose some, but... And I wonder if that's why. Yeah, conversion. 5,000 for the conversion. Mm, what if we just stick it to one person? No, if we're still in the negative. Ouch. I'm going to have to drop down to one person in there. Ooh, that's, that's going to hurt. Okay, I can't say it's going to hurt. That hurts. <laughs> that's so... Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Um, yeah, I do. I don't know how I'm gonna get like wind turbine. Uh, it's not even wind turbine, but. You, to you. Okay. Oh, that should provide us with enough, I'm hoping. I mean, we're going to find out when this is done, which it won't be done uh, until morning. Resource has been depleted. What resource? Oh, the water. Oh, okay. Um, the minimum required resource has been depleted. Okay, so destroy. We'll get supplies back. Okay. That's why it drops the way it did. Water storage, food. Yeah, these are from those. I know the food one's out. Okay. Bad. Oh, that was bad timing. That was really bad timing. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. I may have to put another one or two of these out, though. This is only at 36. 18. No, I want something that's closer to like a hundred. Um, Thirty-eight. Yeah, I think I've already got them strategically placed. Sixty-three. No, fifty, sixty-five. Seventy-one. Is that the best? Yeah. My worry is it's not going to be it's out of. Oh, I definitely can't put it over there. I have to keep it within the range, though. I don't know. Okay, so 65, I think, is the best I'm going to get. Put you over to there. 258. Uh, that's going to take a, a bit. I'm going to have to leave that for now. But okay, so these are all producing right now. Yeah, so that's going up. That's good. Because everybody theoretically should be sleeping right now, right? I'm going to throw two people in that scrap pile. And then max you out. Yeah, the source infinite. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, we've gone exploring. Actually, maybe I will leave it after because it's got one hour left and then we're going to be in the next one. So I lied. I think I'm going to wait until they have uh, they have gotten there. Okay, well now it says zero hours, so they should be there by now. Let's just imply that it, yeah, there we go. Okay, hilltop. Squat structures lining the hilltop creek eerily against the orange sky. Although alien to us, we can guess that their guess at their purpose. We've seen how the people of the old world utilize the power of the sun and water. It is only logical that they would use the wind as well. Okay, as our expedition breaches the rim of a dry valley, one of our party guests lining the distant hilltop are a score of squat structures we have not happened upon before. Barely visible through the orange dust, they appear alive. Giant moving arms and creaking in some forgotten discourse. One way or another, we will need to cross the valley to investigate. Stick to the high ground and skirt around the valley's upper slope. We'll descend the loose dirt incline, 
across the valley and attempt the climb. Um, let's stick to the high ground. Why not? Dun -da -dun -da -dun. Come on. Okay. Stop it! I was not done reading that. Attempting to circumvent the valley is precarious of going. We make it in the end, but two of our party slides down several meters in a shower of loose gravel, resulting in a twisted ankle and some nasty grazes. As we draw nearer, we notice that most of the structures are broken and crumbled. Two of them still groan forebodedly as wind tugs at their dilapidated sails. It's as if they are trying to tell us their secret. Their sturdy doors are locked. Their each structure has a small window with three, some three meters up. What do we do? Use some scrap. Well, we still have good scrap. Use some scrap to construct the makeshift ladder. Use some sturdy scrap and attempt to batter down the door by force. Um, yeah, let's attempt to, to batter down the door. It seemed to work last time. Okay, oh, that's not good. Okay, I didn't want to see that. Uh, we throw open... Hang on. Nope, too far. Okay, using some scrap. We spend some time making a battering ram. We must strike the door almost 20 times before it gives. Exertion and breathing hard in the dust has left us as exhausted and we lost one person from damage we throw open some shuttered windows to look around a large pole descends vertically from the wooden rafters and ends in a heavy stone wheel evidence of a fine dust suggests it was used to grind some sort of material possibly plants or food as we, we examine the building more thoroughly and make a note of its moving parts i read that way weird <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay, so yeah, we know someone died and someone left. Okay. Good luck out there, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so now we have the windmill. Reduces power based on the elevation it's placed on. Cannot function during dust storm. Why? Dust storm, do you think it would be going even faster? Ah, all right. with the knowledge of the wind's giant's components, we leave the hill pondering what uses the power of the wind might grant us. We can now, okay. Okay, well, now let's go over here. Yep, we're gonna go there now. Okay, well, I am gonna leave it here. <laughs> We've got so much to research now. We've got researching right now the solar farm, then we're gonna do the purification center. And then we're going to do the uh, windmills, which of course will all be probably done next episode. So yeah, I'll leave it here. If you like this and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified when a new video comes out. And let me know in the comments any hints, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. Well, stuff with all the dust already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, hints, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. Um, I welcome suggestions because I'm still learning, obviously. I mean, we, we're doing pretty good, even if we are losing people. We're still, we're getting there. We're getting the upgrades and the knowledge and the technology and stuff. Well, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day, evening wherever you are in the world. Yeah, yeah. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.